Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this is your boy Chavez here, and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at my uh, 1911 and the mods that I've done to it, so let's get right into it. Okay, so first of all, this is just the case the Rock Island comes in, but uh, if you guys look, um, this is a Marvell 22 conversion, match grade 22 conversion. Um, you know, it functions just like the regular 1911. Um, you got these really tall uh, sights there that are good for, um, that I, I use this for bullseye. <clears throat> and uh, it's, it's just a great, accurate little piece. And, um, but we're going to do a separate review on that. Um, let's go ahead and take it apart here. And I'll show you what we're really reviewing here. Pretty, uh, pretty simple to get off, and yes, someday that there will have a can on the end of that thing. So, there's my 1911, and so this is actually the 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 box for the Marvel. And if you guys um, look into it, Mar Marvel is actually who makes the Nighthawk uh, conversion kit, the 22 conversion kit. This nice neat little case here, magazines. Okay. So, on the mods, on the 1911, we're going to go ahead and take it apart here. I do need the bushing wrench. because this thing is super tight. What I've done here is I've put a cart national match barrel in this, hand fitted to my gun by a gunsmith. Um, it is, I, I mean, they cart says that, um, I mean, there is no play in there. When it's like that, there is absolutely no play. I mean, it, it when the gun's all together, it's virtually impossible to take this off without disassembling the whole, taking the whole top slide off first. Um, so I'm going to show you exactly what what the match barrel is. Okay, so this is a barrel um, for a 5-inch government that uh, was hand-fitted to my gun um, by Lloyd, um, great gunsmith out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Or actually, he's out of, I think he's out of Rathrum. But, um, so that the this part is swell, swollen up and they fit this piece to your gun and to the barrel so that they're tight and that's what where the accuracy comes from um, if you guys look at um, when they say you know um, Les Bears and Ed Browns when they're really tight like that it's because that whole barrel sitting in the slide is like a just it's just a big oversized piece that's held in there um, so yeah, that's that's part of where it comes in, you know, where you hear really tight 1911 uh, from. But um, yeah, so that that's one of the mods that I've done to this gun. Um, you know, I, I did go ahead and put a recoil buffer in there. Some people have different views on those. I was um, I'm very impressed with uh, with the recoil buffer. I mean it it works great for me. I put a Wolf 15 pounder in there. Since I shoot uh, hand loads in this thing, um, I'm not shooting. I I don't even remember the last time I shot factory out of this out of this gun. Um, but uh, yeah, it's definitely <clears throat> by throwing in the the cart barrel, you're gonna get a lot more accuracy out of just an average gun. And it's funny, people are like. Oh, that's just a, you know, that's a cheap 1911. Why would you ever do that? It's like, because I can. You know, 1911 is one of the most modded guns there is out there. And, um, you know, I'll go ahead and I'm going to put this together later. 
here in a second, but I'm going to show you a couple. I will just leave that there. I want to show you a couple of targets that I got after I changed it to the match barrel. So here's one sitting. Uh, it's about it's about a three inch group. This is that these are all at 25 yards. So that's when I first uh, started out. That was actually with my old spring, so not too bad there. And then this one right here. This is standing. 25 yards. This is actually from a different shooter here. It's like that's about a um, three and a half inch group there. That one's standing, so I was pretty impressed with that one. Standing one handed bullseye stance. Same with this one. This one's a little bit more all over the place, but uh, I, uh, I was pretty proud of that one too nice little tight group on there and this is all 25 yards guys so if you want to you know make fun of my groups go ahead and post your video showing your 25 yard targets this one was also at 25 this one was standing five shot group bullseye stance and I shot a 47 out of 50 in bullseye so I normally you'd shoot 10 in bullseye but uh, all right so I'll go ahead and uh, cut to a couple videos um, that that uh, I took while shooting this gun all right take care guys okay so we got my uh, 1911 back from the shop it's got a cart national match barrel in there um, we're shooting 200 grain semi wad cutters um, with a uh, I think it's five 560 unique, so let's see what we can do. That seems like a pretty mild load. Yeah, it's a pretty good load, so we're going to be doing some testing with this with the new barrel in it. So, As you guys can see, the, the barrel's kind of swollen out here, and they use a, they use this uh, hand-fitted bushing. So, And it's all hand-fitted to this gun, so it's almost you know, got the accuracy of a... A custom pistol. Yeah, so. definitely not a, a, a drop-in barrel, more like drop-in to your local gunsmith. Yeah, exactly. Okay.